Welcome to this Windows N computer channel and um, to um, end this um, series on how to fix connectivity problems with your network or your Wi-Fi or you know maybe you have it internet problems and it doesn't seem to want to work. One of the things that even though it's not super successful, I would say it probably fixes the problems maybe. 50% of the time, which is, you know, it's not zero, so you can actually try it. And it's using the uh, troubleshooting that Windows 10 actually offers you to fix your uh, connectivity issues. How do you do that? Well, simply go to your settings app. In your settings, you will go to the network and internet. And in here, you will see something that's called network troubleshooter when you click here it will actually bring you the network diagnostics window where it's going to try to detect any problems that you might have and you will actually be um, sent to this so it's going to ask you questions i'm trying to reach a specific website or folder on a network or i'm having a different problems and you can of course continue um, allow other computers connect to this computer connecting to workplaces or your specific network adapter or wireless. So you choose what's the problem and it's continuing to check out what problem it is and you choose Wi-Fi. This troubleshooter is actually more complex than it was before. It actually has more options. It will actually want to help you with a, a wider range of problems than it used before. They actually expanded the uh, diagnostics of everything that could be a problem with the network, with the internet, with Wi-Fi, and so on. So follow the instructions, try to answer the best that you can in your own knowledge. And uh, what you'll see is that it'll do a certain number of, the, of problems. And if you have a problem with this, it's of course going to tell you, well, I think I found this or that problem maybe you should fix this in order to have everything working right and um, it's of course going to, it's all automatic so you just follow the instructions it might want you to restart it might reset your network adapters and so on hopefully after you go through all the steps things should be back to normal that's probably the easiest way for most people because it's a very automated process that's already um, you know decided in advance so uh, that could help you out uh, if you have some problems. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.